Ukraine improves sea baby drones. There are no safe places in Black Sea for Russian fleet. Ukrainian intelligence agencies have reported that the improved sea baby drones can now carry more than 1,000 kilograms of explosives and cover a distance of more than 1,000 kilometers. Navy spokesman Dmitry Pletenchuk says they can now hit targets anywhere in the Black Sea. This means that the shelter for Russian ships in Novorossiysk is becoming quite conditional. It means that leaving this shelter is quite dangerous because at such a distance, they can already be reached. This means that tactics should essentially boil down to hiding at this base, waiting for drones to start reaching it, he said on the telethon. Overall, this means that there are no safe places left for the Russian fleet in the Black Sea, but the enemy takes all this into account. As the speaker emphasized, one should not think that the Russians are completely calm about this danger. For example, recently they have been sending out to sea, as a rule, only submarines. If a surface missile carrier enters the water area to launch cruise missiles or to make an interbase transition, then everything is done incredibly quickly. An example of this is the shelling from the ship Admiral Makarov, which last time left the base for only an hour to fire and immediately returned to Novorossiysk. Because there are boom barriers, observation posts the ability to at least somehow hide, Pletenchuk said. He specified that the Russians protect their bases, including in Novorossiysk, with the help of air patrols. The aviation component is very widespread. Its main task is to search and destroy drones. Something hangs in the air around the clock in a certain quantity, the speaker said. He also admitted that the Russians also have drones. They have already used them, but a long time ago. Moreover, the enemy does not make a secret of this. Even last year, they demonstrated them in public. According to Pletenchuk, one of them is Dandelion, which looks like a converted jet ski. The military man also does not rule out that the occupiers will try to copy Ukrainian drones, including Sea Baby. The enemy is constantly learning trying to copy the best experience, the best practices that he has experienced. Therefore, we should expect that sooner or later they will definitely copy this idea, technology, and they will try to apply it. Therefore, this must be taken seriously, Pletenchuk emphasized. Russian soldiers appeal to Putin over military failures. Commanders are leading us to our slaughter. A group of Russian soldiers who volunteered to fight in Ukraine have complained about their commanders in a video appeal to President Vladimir Putin. According to Newsweek, since the start of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, there have been numerous reports of low Russian troop morale in which video messages to the president have criticized a lack of training, equipment and the actions of their superiors. The latest appeal shared on X by Ukrainian internal affairs advisor Anton Gerashchenko shows a group of seven soldiers he said were from the 5th Company of the 3rd Battalion of Russia's 7th Guards Motor Rifle Regiment. Newsweek says that an unnamed serviceman in the middle of the front row addressed the camera and described how he and his comrades had resorted to a direct plea to the Russian president because they had found themselves in a difficult situation. He said, they had voluntarily signed a contract with Russia's defense ministry on May the 11th and were told they would be on the second and third lines of the front. But he said that after initial training, we realized we had been deceived and that after the first assault, we realized something was going wrong with wounded soldiers being left to die on the front line for several days while his group evacuated the casualties, promises by the company commander that he and his comrades would eventually get provisions, food, water and rest in camps away from the front line were not kept. We go out on various assaults on various tasks assigned to us by people we have never seen, he said. They are leading us to our slaughter. He added, noting that only 25 troops were left out of the company's original 110 men. Every day our guys return injured, he said. The best case scenario is if they come back injured. Pointing to his comrades, he said that every person here now is happy to be out of this hell, away from the scum that gives us such orders. I fear for my life, he said, as he described how, when carrying out tasks, our own artillery and mortars hit us. Why is this attitude towards us? We voluntarily signed these contracts to eradicate this fascism, but in the end, fascism is among us and is trying to eradicate us by any means necessary, he added, referring to one of the Kremlin's justifications for the invasion, which was to denazify Ukraine.